Well, was, Swing Shift was a, was a very uh, um, sad experience, and it was a great learning experience for me also. But what happened there in a nutshell was that um, uh, we made uh, the, a film from a script that everybody had agreed on. And then later, um, one of the actors felt, uh, a, an actor that had a tremendous amount of power, um, felt very strongly that, that it should actually have been a different kind of film. And um, the studio brought in uh, another writer um, uh, who had not written the screenplay. It brought in Robert Town, actually, and uh, got Robert Town to turn uh, uh, what was designed as a film about sisterhood and women going to work uh, in the war effort for the first time in the 1940s and, and creating a very powerful bond and becoming a, a, a dynamic social force. Um, they wanted to now take that movie and turn it into more of a sort of a light romance to capitalize on um, uh, the chemistry between um, uh, the actors from the original film. And I, of course, didn't like that, and I fought it. And um, finally, I, I lost that fight because my contractual power ran out. This was before Final Cut. And the film got turned into something very different from... Uh, uh, what we were supposed to have made in the first place. And I don't think it made anybody happy. I think it wound up being a very schizophrenic, um, uh, ineffective kind of film. Did that ever make you, did that experience worry you with future projects? I mean, I cannot imagine what it'd be like to have something on which, on which you've worked for so long, put together, and then to have it taken away and uh, mm -hmm. completely manipulated, changed, maybe even firing the director. I mean. Do you live in fear of that? Well, um, this was a very interesting moment. Uh, as I look back, it's interesting. At the time, it was excruciating. But um, I made Stop Making Sense uh, at exactly the same time that I was editing and having all these tremendous difficulties on Swing Shift. And um, the experience of having Swing Shift completely altered um, uh, was so devastating that part of me um, felt maybe I don't really want to do this anymore. You make such a tremendous personal, emotional investment, and as a director, you all the people who work on a film, the actors, the camera, everybody makes a. They put their trust in you to make the film that everybody signed on to do. So it, it felt like a very deep, um, very 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 devastating betrayal of what the work is all about, what my job is all about. I really contemplated, maybe, maybe I don't want to do this anymore. At the same time, Stop Making Sense was a beautiful experience. I had a great collaborative experience with David Byrne and all the talking heads, and the film came out, and it was exactly the way we wanted it to be, and it met a lot of approval. So finally, um, I decided I would never do a film again. Um, I would try very hard to make sure that I had complete faith in the long term with, with, with my collaborators, with the people. I, I would have, have to have tremendous trust, having been so burned um, that time. Um, and um, then I had the opportunity to do something wild at Orion Pictures, very nice people, um, very independent spirited, and uh, they offered me already sort of a, a final cut even though I hadn't earned it yet. And uh, so Something Wild was kind of a, a rebirth for me. Uh, I started all over again.